It has been years of ups and downs for the Country Club Plaza since Macy's and Sports Chalet shut down. But business owners are looking ahead at new plans to revitalize the shopping center. Hey guys, welcome to our first Dead Mall video. We'll start this journey here at Country Club Plaza Mall, located in Sacramento, California. This wasn't a treasured adolescent memory for either of us, but since we were in the general area and the Yelp reviews looked promising, we took a peek around. This mall has been around since the 1950s, but has seen its foot traffic drastically decline over the last decade or two as it has struggled to retain its retail tenants. The recession and retail apocalypse have taken their toll on this mall as well, all of the well-known retailers like American Eagle and Pacific Sunwear, not to mention Macy's, have left, leaving mall owners with several difficult-to-fill custom brick-and-mortar retail outlets. The only anchor is a recently opened Winco Foods, a Boise-based grocery store with a few locations in the Sacramento area. The Winco was bumping on the day we visited. The rest of the mall, not so much. To make things even more confusing, this isn't the original Country Club Mall. That honor belongs to Country Club Center, built in 1952 at the corner of Watt and El Camino Avenue in Sacramento. But wait, I thought it was Country Club Plaza that exists, barely, at that intersection. You're right, the original Country Club Shopping Center was such a success that in 1958, they expanded across Watt Avenue into a new open-air shopping center called Country Club Plaza, the mall that we present to you today almost 60 years later. In case you were wondering, Country Club Center is still there, kind of. It's now what many ill-fated malls have become, a collection of familiar big box stores. The original Country Club Plaza had a market in it as well, although back then it was a stop and shop instead of a Winco. It also had an Arthur Murray dance studio. More stores were built onto the original building as time went on, and eventually the mall was enclosed and externally renovated like most open-air malls built around the same time. The first anchor was a four-story Weinstock Lubin, built in 1961. When the name was shortened in 1964 to Weinstocks, the store was remodeled as well. It remained a busy and popular Weinstocks until 1995, when the conglomerate that owned the brand was purchased by Federated Stores Incorporated. As with most Federated purchases of the era, Weinstocks was rebranded as a Macy's in 1996. Twenty years later, in 2016, the Country Club Plaza Macy's location was closed as part of company restructuring. The second major anchor on the southern side of the mall was a J.C. Penney's built in 1971, 10 years after the Weinstocks. Penney's closed up shop in 1994 and moved to Arden Fair, another Sacramento area mall that is still going strong despite its own shaky times in the past. The vacated Penney's building was occupied soon after on November 1st, 1994 by Gottschalk's, a Fresno-based department store chain that eventually fell victim to the recession and went out of business in 2009. The anchor remained vacant again from 2009 until the Winco opened in 2016. It happens only once a year. Extra savings during Big G Days at Gut Shops. Save 30% on two-piece soft dressing from Corette for Mrs. Empatites. For the casual man, shaver like shirts and pants, 25 to 30% off. Assorted comforter sets, any size, $49.99. And in Meals Market, this bonus 13-piece cutlery set. With purchase of the select 10-piece cookware set by Cook's Bazaar at just $89.99. Once a year savings now during Gut Shops Big G Days. Well, Sam and Christina, this parking lot has not been this packed in months. This new Winco grocery store opened last week, and since the new addition, shoppers and business owners are hopeful that the new addition will bring lots of foot traffic to the area. Currently, the Winco Foods is the only mall store with significant foot traffic. These types of markets are built warehouse style, so the second floor of the J.C. Penney's was demolished to accommodate the high shelves typically found in a Winco. I guess that means it's never going to be a traditional department store again. You can exit into the mall itself through the old JCPenney Gotchocks entrance, but there's not currently much to offer unless you like lots of empty, vacant stores. There's also some dusty kiosks, a few desperate signs pleading for tenants, scattered planters full of neglected shrubbery, and even a few spindly hanging mobiles. We happen to love those things. Next up for the mall, Hibachi Grill and Buffet, Planet Fitness, and possibly a new movie theater. But not every shopper is looking forward to the changes. For us oldies, it's like a lot of the old stuff that we used to rely on is no longer here. Okay, walking out of the Winco, first thing you're going to see, American Eagle on the right. 
can tell it's an American Eagle because it's of the AE, pretty distinctive architecture. I don't know what else they put in here. I've seen other malls try a coffee shop, but you know, anything at this point. We're coming up on center court. You can see this collection of gumball machines outside the Planet Fitness. Yeah, I bet those gumballs are at least 10 years old. Oh yeah, they're probably disgusting, but you could tell this used to be the remnants of a food court. There used to be a Strings Italian cafe, some kind of a yogurt stand, and some ch child amusement rides. And all you can see now is the scars on the floor from where they ripped these up or from where they used to be. Yeah, they didn't even bother trying to cover that up. Well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, why bother at this point? Oh, here's your other food court option besides decade-old gumballs, a soda selection in a cutout down the hallway here. And something that's trying to go in there, we couldn't tell what. Yeah, lots of available space, not a lot of takers. This is going to be the Flaming Grill Cafe, a brew pub slash restaurant kind of concept. It's a Sacramento local thing, but it's not really going to go in anytime soon. Yeah. A lot of these old spaces are trying to move in new things. This old sports chalet is supposed to become a trampoline park called Rebounders, which is a good idea for these kind of big box stores, but... And right across from it, they're going to try to put in a movie theater that is totally non-existent at this point. Yeah, they've been talking about this movie theater for at least a couple of years, and each time the date keeps getting pushed back farther and farther. And you can see as we look down the hallway across, there's this empty TCBY that's just been left abandoned. Yeah, it looks like they got up and left in a hurry. They didn't even bother taking off any of the labels from their machines or moving any of their equipment. I mean, they just up and left. Yeah, I, I got in a little closer right here. You can see the labels of all the flavors, the original trays and everything, where their fridges used to be hooked up in the back. I mean, this, this was just yeah. oh, so abandoned. Cut and run. Yeah, they've been taking good care of the plants for all the people that use all these benches if you want to sit around. Yeah, you can look at the mobiles or maybe wait for your tailoring to get done at the tailor yeah, shop here. Yeah, there's a lot of the dead mall staples that are left. The tailor, the nail salon, the sketchy perfume store. They keep promising they're going to fill it in, but... Coming soon, coming soon. Yeah, lots of coming soon, not a lot of actually here. Lots of kiosks with nothing on them except for advertisements or like the bath fitters. It's just a storefront. It doesn't, no one shops there. Yeah, a closed storefront. Yeah, we put our stuff down on this kiosk and pretended to check our phones so we could get some more footage. You can see a attempt at an art gallery back there. I was checking out the plants and you can see the ceiling is a, it's part of a retrofit that was added later they put the ceiling on yeah this was one of those older malls that was enclosed when air conditioning was a big thing here's that uh art gallery we talked about not a lot of art in here i mean i don't know if an art gallery is necessarily a big mall attraction but hey anything that will pay rent at this point yeah, you can see we're coming up on uh, another abandoned kiosk with nothing on it, and then you're going to see the mall directory. Yeah, directing you to nothing. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, this is a very small mall. I mean, we've pretty much walked the length of it at this point. We're already at the other end, which is where the Macy's would be if it hadn't closed pretty recently. It has a nice little atrium and some nice mobiles, and then you can see the label scar of Macy's on the end. Yeah, but that's it. It just kind of dead ends here. Not much going on. Well, Kelly, 111 people will lose their jobs when this Macy's here on El Camino and Watt closes. This store will close this spring. And then, of course, there will be the question of what will happen to this giant retail space, 165,000 square feet here. Macy's has been at this location since 1961. That is 55 years at this one spot for this company. In a lengthy written statement today, the company explained its decision to close 40 stores in total. That's 40 stores closing out of 770. So the vast majority of Macy's stores will remain open, but the company says 2015 was a, quote, disappointing year for sales. Well, we just keep losing our good stores. We have to go to the mall. I, I mean, and this is a small mall. That, that's kind of why I like it, too. You know, I don't have to go to Arden or the gallery. While it's not great to see anybody lose their job, don't feel too bad that this Macy's has shut down. There's at least four more in the Sacramento metropolitan area, about 20 miles from here in various directions. So if she needs her department store fix, she'll definitely still be able to get it. While we were conducting our research for this video, you could see that we found this movie that was filmed in the mall on YouTube. 
you'll see the original wine stock sign behind the character. You can also see the original outside of the Labu restaurant. It was changed during a early 2000s remodel. They added this crazy checkerboard pattern to the outside, and they added some signs on the Bed Bath & Beyond and the off-Broadway shoes. And these have been totally wiped over. You wouldn't even be able to tell they were there anymore. We've already seen an influx in our business. And Woody's Grill and Bar Manager Jeff Haggard says the boost in sales is a sign of good things to come. And the staff has been coming over and they've been absolutely great. And forging a partnership with them has been really important to us. We tried stopping by that Woody's on some of our visits there, but unfortunately, they were already closed. And I don't mean closed for the day, I mean closed for good. So much for that upswing. And Hibachi Grill are planned for opening this fall. No word on the timeline of the movie theater just yet, but the Chambers owners say that this is, they're very confident that it will open very soon. Well, across the country, uh, it's been a challenge for retail all across this country, as I mentioned, and, and Wall Street is reflecting that as well. So hopefully they can make the turn there. That would mm -hmm. be nice. Very good. Thank you very much for that, Macy. Yeah, all across this country, retail is struggling. I mean, that's this whole genre. Not all of it, but there's definitely a widening gap between biz booming business and shuttered stores. Time will tell if Country Club Plaza actually turns it around, but the fate of most of its similar counterparts indicate that the end's probably not that far away. <laughs>